What's up YouTube, Rand from the 713 here and there with another video for you guys. Now today we're going to be going over my most recent purchase for my stream and gaming setup, which is my autonomous L-shaped desk. And as always, you can catch me streaming every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays on YouTube and from time to time on Twitch. So once you guys come by, drop by, say hello, hang out, ask me any questions you may have about YouTube or streaming. And as always, if you like what you saw, hit the like button. If you have a question about what you saw, leave a comment. And if you want more of what you saw, then sub to the channel. So as you can see here, I had a little bit of a mess. And I had two separate tables originally, or one big L-shaped table. And I actually ended up separating them both and creating a spot for me. And the other spot uh, was for my son to, to, to play in the same room with me. And the issue with, you know, having such a small area and then having so many devices, a PC, Xbox, monitors, a microphone, and so on, is that it all becomes very cluttered and there are cables and wires all over the place. Uh, and after a while, a little bit of the frustration and kind of the cramped space starts to get to me. You can see underneath here the table that the cable management is its pretty bad. I mean, there is none. It's just pretty much get in where you fit in. So the downside about whenever you get a new product is that pretty much you have to take everything down, deassemble everything, uh, the, you know, kind of make a mess in the entire house and go put it in all sorts of different places. You know, I have quite a lot of products. I'll give you kind of a quick rundown. I mean, you just saw the uh, uh, NZXT case that I have with my third, uh, 2080 Super. Uh, it, it, you know, I got my Xbox One X, Gears 5 Limited Edition, my LG uh, 4K monitor, uh, got my Elgato Stream Deck uh, right there that I'm taking down, um, got my Red Yeti microphone, got my TV mount, uh, that's an HP monitor, I believe that one is a 24 inch uh, but it's not visa mount compatible so I'm actually about to replace that and by the time you see this video I should have a new one uh, that is visa mount uh, compatible um, here this is my Seagate 8 terabyte uh, game drive for my Xbox uh, One X so that I can pretty much store all the games that I have and never have to worry about removing games and reinstalling games I, I, I hate having to do that so uh, and the good news is that I'll be actually able to carry this hard drive over to the new uh, Xbox Series X when that uh, gets released. Um, you could see that I had the white IKEA, uh, I believe that's the Linmon uh, table, or I guess just countertop, and then you buy the legs separate. Uh, and here I have uh, the cabinets. I forgot what the name of these cabinets are, but I have a lot of stuff in them, so it was kind of heavy. And then, of course, when you're done, you know. Uh, taking everything out of the room you want to clean the space you, you know don't don't be a slob you know clean up after yourself so uh, the camera makes it look like our carpets are dirty but they're actually very very clean because I don't like wearing shoes uh, on carpet uh, at all now um, as I mentioned I got the uh, autonomous desk in three separate boxes and I gotta say there's some pretty good weight to these boxes uh the frames instantly when i took it out of the box it didn't feel cheap to me uh, or lightweight i mean this is some pretty heavy uh, i think it's steel um yeah i'm, I'm not I don't, I don't think it's cast iron it's just regular metal steel um and it comes in in, in three separate packages it's packaged very well uh to me there's no way that this can get damaged unless it's you know probably being dropped from uh dropped from the truck uh, or something of that nature because it's all covered in foam uh, and there's really no room for it to, to to move around anywhere so now putting everything together um it, it, you know the easiest way for me was to kind of keep most of the pieces uh, in the box and as i go i started to remove what i needed rather than unpacking everything and having it all over the place. All right, cool. So, man, whoo, a little tired here, man. <laughs> woo! 
<laughs> All right, so uh, it took me a little while to figure out how to put together. The instructions say it's gonna take like 30 minutes, or the website says it's gonna take like 30 minutes. Um, it's eight o'clock. I started, I think, about 6:30. So I might end up having to move the table over here and then move in Pokey's table over here, which he might like because uh, he gets a better view now. But I'm not. But you know, sounds like I got hoes. But I knew the table was gonna be big, and when I measured it, I was like, okay, it may fit, but it's gonna be like really like really tight it may not even fit uh and i don't think it's gonna fit so i got i got it done i got it built um so here it is i ended up putting it uh and switching and putting it in the other corner uh like i thought i would um just because there was more space in, in, you know compared to having it over here where the door was the autonomous l-shaped desk is a great value at 739 dollars at the time of this video it's hard to imagine that $739 is a great price until you start looking at other brands. Now, I have always been a believer in you get what you pay for, so if Autonomous is selling a desk at such a low price and their competitors are at nearly double to start, some corners must have been cut in my opinion. However, Autonomous gave me peace of mind by backing this desk with a 5 year warranty covering the metal, mechanical parts, the motor and electrical components. The shipping took about 10 days from when I placed the order to the day all items arrived. And I say all items arrived because I received the shipment in three parts. I thought all three boxes would come in at the same time, but they didn't. Uh, one of the boxes actually came in about three days before the other two. I did reach out to customer service via email and I got an automated response that due to COVID-19 and high demands, it was taking longer than normal to respond to emails. I did eventually get a response back six days later, which was the same day I received the remaining two boxes. I was told that FedEx was uh, not having as many drivers and that was creating some issues with shipping. That's understandable considering what's going on in the world. Now let's get to the desk. There are so many things that I like other than the cost. The size for me is perfect, but that may not be the case for everyone. The dimensions are 77 inches long and 29 inches wide. Uh, the return panel measures 29 inches wide uh, by 35 inches in length or vice versa. Uh, there are more details online and I suggest confirming you have the space before ordering the desk. I have a lot of items that I wanted to put on top and did not want to feel cluttered and I can easily say that I was able to put everything in my setup and still have more space available. The cable management is made very easy due to two chrome grommet cutouts uh, that come included with the desk and the cable management tray that comes underneath. Uh, this makes it so much easier to hide the cables and get that nice clean look that we're all looking for. Now not everything is peachy. There are some minor things that I dislike. For example, I chose the black desk and it's a dust magnet. A duster is recommended to keep a clean environment. Also, because the black desk has a nice shine to it, fingerprints tend to show quite a bit. I also notice that the smaller return top is not even with the larger one. There's probably about a quarter of an inch in difference. Uh, originally, this was bugging me, but it's kind of grown on me and I'm not sure why. I would probably say that that was actually due to the way that I assembled it. Uh, I didn't follow the instructions exactly to a T. Now, speaking of the instructions, I think Autonomous could do a little bit of a better job uh, in showing multiple configurations. Uh, when you get the instruction booklet, it only shows one way to assemble it, and that setup might not be a good configuration for your room. So, uh, you know, just kind of heads up on that. And finally, there's not much customization to the desk. Uh, it comes in four color configurations black top and frame, a white top and frame, a walnut top with either black or white frame. Um, I would say give us the options to do like a white frame with a black top or, or vice versa. As I mentioned at the beginning, I purchased the desk for work and streaming. I have to say that it has been amazing to add this desk to my setup and I feel like it has made my work day more productive and comfortable. Standing up when I start to feel pain in my lower back helps instead of walking away from my responsibilities. I simply raise the desk and continue to work. 
and from a streaming point to have everything on my desk and not feel cramped or cluttered makes for a much more enjoyable streaming experience. If your desk looks good, you feel good, and if you feel good, you play good, and if you play good, they pay good, to quote the great Deion Sanders. Now, there are more items that I need to add to my setup for a complete ergonomic experience like a good foot rest and ergonomic chair, but those will have to wait for now. Now, I've used this desk for three weeks now and feel like there's no buyer's remorse here. And I know that when most people invest a large sum of money, at times they tend to regret it. But for me, the value offered in the purchase, the warranties offered by Autonomous, and the quality of life improvements that you get from a sit-stand desk make this a solid purchase for me with no regrets and i'm sure i'll enjoy it for years to come as always if you like the video then hit the like button if you have a question about the video then comment below and if you want more of this kind of video then sub to the channel red from the 713 i'm out catch you guys next time thanks for watching